Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Genesis 5 verse 24, Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more because God took him away. Um, <clears throat> I want to encourage you this morning, just a simple basic encouragement to show you that Sometimes the things that you really want to achieve with God, the way that you want to live your life with God and through God, you may, it may feel like there's no one else around you who is showing you a good example of what that is. We do have many men and women of God and we do have, uh, you know, many Christians around us who um, have different life conditions. And one thing I find personally from experience is that sometimes when I look at certain Christians who I find very strong in their faith and in their walk with God, um, but somehow in my mind, I always say to myself, yeah, but it's easy for that person to be like this because they have this or they have that, or they were born in that in this country, or, you know, they look at them, they, they, they have a big platform, they have this, they have that. And that is false. I know that's a false, those are all false sort of discouragements from the enemy to say other people are better than yourself or to say they are more able to achieve something because they have more, they have more uh, going for them. And that is not true. But I wanted to just go back to a very simple man of God who not much is written about him in the Bible. Not much. Um, all we are told about Enoch is that he walked with God. He walked faithfully with God. He walked so faithfully with God that God, you know, refused for him to die a normal death. God just took him from this earth. That's how faithful he was. That's how faithful his walk was with God. We're not told that he he built anything like you know, like Noah did. We're not told that he, um, you know, he was sent to achieve anything. He, he just he was just a simple, humble a normal person he just had a normal life we're not told anything about his ministry all we know is that he walked with god how many of us feel that we're too ordinary to experience some of the things that we see men and women of god experience um you can see some powerful you know men and women of god sing amazing praise and worship songs and you think oh my gosh they're gifted how many of us see uh, you know powerful men and women of god speak so eloquently and stand out there and address hundreds and thousands of people and change people's lives and people respond to them how many of us see that and think wow you know the natural thing in your mind you may not say it out loud but naturally in your mind you're bound to think that they have what they have because they are more gifted than others this is why for me Enoch is a a good um, example or a good reference in the bible in the sense that the Bible didn't say anything else about him except that he walked with God. It is possible for you to walk with God in a very powerful way, in a very immense way, without necessarily being on any platform, without necessarily, um, you know, doing... I mean, obviously, the signs of wonders of God, the signs and wonders of God, they, they will manifest through you. As long as you walk with God to this extent, there's just no way those signs and wonders will manifest through you. And yeah, maybe that can cause you to be famous or popular in some way. But for those of us who just want a normal, ordinary life, it is possible to walk so closely with God to a point where he won't even want you to live a normal life. Enoch did not even die a normal death. That's how... That's how closely he had walked with God. God said, no, this is my precious um, Enoch. I'm taking him. I'm not allowing him to die on this earth. He took him. God just took him. Uh, the New Living Translation says, um, he was walking in close fellowship with God. Then on the day he disappeared. Then one day he disappeared because God took him. He just disappeared one day. God took him. Kind of like a little bit like a rapture really, isn't it? He ruptured. Didn't he? I mean, that's what it sounds like. Just He just disappeared. Isn't that what a rapture is? I mean, I know the rapture says well, people will be taken up or caught up. But the point is, suddenly you won't be here. You, you'll have been sitting with someone one day in a rapture, that is. And suddenly you won't be here. Um, because he walked so faithfully. Now, I, we need to think about also, these were this is Genesis. These were the early days. These were just after the fall of man. This was before we had the Holy Spirit to walk to. You know, with the Holy Spirit, you can talk to the Holy Spirit and he'll talk back at you. Not necessarily through a voice that you can hear, but through a voice in your heart. He impresses 
his re- his response and and communication with you in in your heart and you know this came from god the ideas just pop up in your heart you know it came from god right um jesus hadn't even died on the cross by that point um n- you know nothing else that all these privileges that we have now of grace and the blood of jesus um and and the word of god we have the full word of god now we can commune with god through his word enoch didn't have that can you imagine what that means for him to have walked with god what exactly does that mean how did he walk with god with nothing to relate him we can relate with god through his word we can always say yes god said this god said that we have so much at our disposal we have so much we have the holy spirit Jesus has died on the cross. We can rub the the cross in the face of the kingdom of darkness. We can remind them that they were defeated on the cross. Enoch didn't have any of this. We have so much more than Enoch had. Yet even he was able to walk with God. Yes, the devil was there at the time. The devil was there before Enoch's days. The devil was there to bring about the fall of Adam and Eve. And yet he could not clearly could not get to Enoch to the point where God took him right my encouragement to you and myself is yes it is possible to walk so closely to god that god is even moved to give you a peculiar life to give you and not only a peculiar life even your exit on this earth could be peculiar this what 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 we're reading about enoch here is peculiar it's unique it's unheard of he's the only person even all the other saints that we read about in the bible as amazing as they were they were mighty men of war they were mighty men of valor they did amazing things through god samson in all his power and glory uh, david in all his you know he was a man after god's heart um all of them think of all the saints in in the new old testament think of all the the the, the you know the the apostles and what have you in the new testament all of them put together, nothing like this is written about them. Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more because the God took him away. What a, what a testimony about this man. What an encouragement for those of us who now can actually walk with God with, a, with much more given to us. We have the Holy Spirit. He's, the Holy Spirit is with you guys. He's closer than anyone you think you're close to. The Holy Spirit is even closer right we have the blood of the lamb we can use the blood of the lamb to cancel and and overcome everything the kingdom of darkness want to set in our path if they try to limit our lives in any way the kingdom of darkness we can we can overcome that by the blood of the lamb just clearly they just simply state and say every plan of the kingdom of darkness whatever it is that's already happening now or that's already being planned in the future that's pending in the future I overcome them all right now by the blood of the Lamb. I defeat them all right now by the blood of the Lamb. I cancel them all right now by the blood of the Lamb. Kingdom of darkness, devil, you have no say over my life. I am looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Only he can determine what happens to my into my life. Father, you are, you are my Father. You are my Heavenly Father. Be it done unto me according to your will. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven concerning my life and concerning the lives of my family members. Kingdom of darkness, I I reject you. I reject all your plans. I reject every covenant you've ever even forged with me. Whether I know of it or not, I reject it all by the blood of the lamb. You 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 can drown the kingdom of darkness by the blood of the lamb from your life, right? We have that. If Enoch walked with God so faithfully back then when he didn't have all this at his disposal. What about us? We have the word of God. Guys, you can go around literally talking the word of God. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. Oh, Father, thank you for delivering me in times of trouble. Even trouble I don't even know of. You know, sometimes the enemy plans trouble that you're not even aware of. God will deliver you from that as long as you look after his His children who are who are in need. God will look after you. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. He protects them. He preserves them. Uh, he keeps them alive. He will not. He, he, he causes them to prosper in the land. He will not allow them. He will not submit them to the will of their enemies. That is Psalm 41 verses 1 to 3. Read all of it. Guys, we too can walk faithfully with God. I, I'm encouraging you to just keep this journey of seeking and walking with God. You can do this. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.